And we did the thing he warned us not to do. We let the media be helped by the government. This analysis that we made of the CIA's media operations disclosed, among other things, that they deliver through uh, CIA couriers um, ready to print or ready to broadcast news. How often does the CIA manipulate the media in this way, plant stories, get their views in the media? It goes beyond your wildest imagination, the extent to which the CIA has gone to manipulate public opinion with the objective essentially of manipulating the mind and attitudes of workers throughout the nation and the world. If you think journalists should be smarter than that, well, here's a story. I also was an interrogator and indeed briefed the press when we, the CIA, wanted to um, circulate disinformation on a particular issue. We would pick out a journalist, I would go do the briefing and um, hope that he would put the information in print. What was your percentage of success? Usually, the journalists would go with it because it, was, it looked like some kind of exclusive. And um, I would say our percentage of planning that kind of data was uh, 70 to 80 percent. Some journalists who don't realize, there are some who are winning, but there are also some who do not realize that they're being uh, targeted by the CIA uh, when they come home from a trip overseas. They might talk to somebody and they don't realize, uh, at least right away, uh, who they're talking to and then it turns out that they've uh, um, been the source of information which was used by the CIA. These dumb little journalists leave you with this. If a dictator ever took charge in this country, the technological capacity that the intelligence community has given the government could enable it to impose total tyranny and there would be no way to fight back. I don't want to see this country ever go across the bridge, and we must see to it that this agency and all agencies that possess this technology operate within the law and under proper supervision so that we never cross over that abyss. There, that's the abyss from which there is no return. Let's bring in.